Hi, I'm Carol R. Scott, and you're tuned in to the Animal Innovations Show. Today's Animal Innovation Show is brought to you by... Are you and your pups looking to try out a new dog park this summer? Well, topdogparks.com has got you covered. It consolidates not only the best parks near you, but all of those across all 50 states. With just one click, you can see everything you need to know about the park, from its amenities to its rules to the operating hours and location. Whether you're looking for a great trail to hike, a cool place to swim, or the best playgrounds for your pooch, Top Dog Parks makes it simpler and less stressful for you to find just what you're looking for. Visit www.topdogparks.com today. You get to start us off. Tell us who you are and how you're innovating and helping animals. So I am Carol Arscott. I have been a volunteer rescue photographer for, uh, gosh, I guess about nine years now. Yeah, you know, I approached a rescue. I, I had been taking some photos on my own and uh, I said, you know what, I, if, if you'd ever like some photos, you know, I'd be happy to do it for you. And they said, eh, yeah, whatever, you know, they, sure. they weren't too enthused. And then I started taking photos and they were like, wow, these are, these are nice. These are good photos. And they started using them to get the animals adopted. And they were noticing that their adoption rates were just, you know, skyrocketing. Um, because the, the problem is with rescues is that when animals come in, uh, you know, they, they take a picture of them right away. You know, that's part of their workflow that the animal comes in, they get bathed or whatever. And, um, and then they get their, their photo taken, uh, they're terrified a lot of times right. because they've just come off the transport. They've just ended up in this strange place. They don't know who they are or they've been dumped by, you know, by what, whatever circumstance they're in. Um, they're terrified and it shows in the pictures. Sometimes the pictures are taken while they're in a crate or a cage. And um, so what I do is I go in and I give that animal a professional photo shoot. It's not just one picture. I usually, you know, I spend time. Um, I treat them just like I would my, my regular uh, clients. And basically, I want people to look at those animals and be able to imagine having them in their lives, you know, you know, not see a scared animal in the corner of the of a cage, but see a confident animal that's going to be their new family member or their new best friend. Yeah. And so then you just started calling up rescue saying, hey, I'm a photographer. Want some help? You know, I could take some better photos. Yeah, so so I approached a, a local rescue. Um, <laughs> actually, it's kind of funny. My son was supposed to do a community service as part of his graduation requirement in school, and he, you know, put it off as kids do. And we were trying to find something for him to do. And and he loves cats. And there was a rescue that needed someone to um, take care of the cats and socialize them. But he wasn't old enough to volunteer by himself, so I had to go with him. So sure. I took my camera along, and I started photographing, and it kind of went from there started working with one rescue, other rescues sort of saw what I was doing because, you know, everyone follows everyone else on, on social media. Other rescues reached out and said, hey, could you help us? And, uh, you know, kind of took off from there. So, and and another thing that, that I'm actually doing now, which I'm really excited about is virtual photography. So I don't know if you, hmm. so it is where you can actually take a photo over the computer. So okay. uh, there's an app that I have people download to their phone or their iPad, and I can control it from my computer. So once they turn the app on, they can hold their phone or their iPad and I can direct them. I tell them, put the dog there, turn the dog towards the light, you know, do whatever. Interesting. Uh, get lower, you know, stand here, stand there. Um, and then when I'm ready, I take the picture and I can zoom in and out um, from, from my computer. In fact, I just did a, 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 a client of mine was on their honeymoon and they wanted to get a photographer in uh, North Carolina where they were and they could not find one they asked for a recommendation and um i said you know what l l let's try this out and so i did a virtual session for them uh and and it was fantastic it was so much fun and um it's really going to open doors to helping more rescues because a lot of times there are fosters that don't necessarily know how to take a good photo but they can hold a phone right and and help them do it and that way i can get to more rescues you know from my living room in my pajamas. <laughs> so. I was going to say that's got to be a lot more efficient, right? Just kind of like doing Zoom calls versus driving into the office. I mean, you can pop on a call real quick. Like you said, direct the person. All right, I want you to do this and this and this. All right, hold it. Got it. Right. And still get, I mean, it's not going to be exactly the same, but you're still going to get a much better quality photo than somebody like right. me who doesn't really know what he's doing with his iPhone. Yeah, it's not going to be, you know, museum quality, but um, it, surprisingly good quality uh, for this. Well, so so now you're, you're, I mean, I love the fact that you're applying this technology, right, and using it in innovative ways to help these guys.
But then tell me what else you're doing. It sounds like you're doing more, you're doing books and courses and like you're doing all sorts of things. Yeah. So, you know, I, I've been volunteering with, with rescues, like I said, uh, and, and helping them with photos, but then I thought, you know what, I'd like to go bigger and help them in other ways. You know, I've helped them with fundraisers in the past, donating things to, to, uh, sessions to auctions and, and whatnot, but I thought there's, there's gotta be more that, that we can do there. So, um, I approached a rescue, actually one of my clients, uh, connected me with with the rescue I become friends with most of my clients you know um, they're awesome people they're obviously animal people I love their dogs and she connected me with a, a rescue called Delaware Valley Golden Retriever Rescue DVGRR and she said I think you guys would be a great fit I think they would love this idea so I approached them and I said you know what I think we can make uh, I'm sure we can make about three or four thousand dollars um, doing a fundraising book and how that would work is that I will photograph between 30 and 50 dogs that were adopted through the rescue. Um, they will be featured in the book. Each dog will have a two page spread. And to be able to participate, there is a hundred dollar session fee. So that's my normal session fee. And I said, I will donate hundred percent of that session fee to the rescue. So I said right there, you know, we're going to make that goal. And then on top of that, we will sell these books. Um, we're planning to release it at their big gala fundraiser. So obviously all the people whose dogs are in the book are going to buy them, but then also other supporters of the rescue that want to, um, that want to support the rescue, hopefully will will purchase the books. And then these are all rescue dogs, right? That have been adopted out. And so, like you said, you're charging essentially the adopters, right? They're getting the dog for photographs. They're getting wonderful pictures of the dog in the book and the rescue is obviously benefiting. It's a great idea. And I also want to help other photographers learn how to do this. So how are you going to train other people to do this? Are you going to build a course? Or are you going to offer training? I mean, how does that work? Yep, yep. I have a course in the works right now. And uh, it's going to offer, I'm going to offer one-on-one -on -one coaching um, to help photographers get up and running within 30 days to do their first book project. Yeah, and I really love the fact that you're not just doing it. You're also trying to help others to replicate, right? Like you've you've proven this model. You took a model from that somebody else started and you've kind of tweaked it, like you said, and you've added to it. And now you're offering it back out there for others to do the same. Every day I get up and I say, I can't believe I get to do this. You know, this is just fantastic. So I always ask the question, I mean, what have you learned about yourself on this journey? To, uh, you know, to, to, to follow my passion and, and see where it leads me. And it has led me to some very unexpected places. Yeah. So tell people the website, how can they get a hold of you? So my website is my name, www.carolrscott.com. And uh, if you go to my website, there is also a link to be able to purchase the book from the rescue and, and support them if you'd like to see what it's all about and and, and give back to a, to a fantastic cause. Carol, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for what you're doing. And, you know, as I wrap things up, I always love to remind our viewers and listeners and Carol's a perfect example. She is an avid listener, watcher of the show. And she's like, I have a brilliant idea for something that's going to help animals. So maybe you're watching, listening, and you've got an idea. We'd love to know about it. Just go to innovations.show. And we'd love to have you on the show to talk about it. Um, and please don't forget to sign up and join the over 35,000 now Dubertiers that are volunteering their time and effort to help rescue animals. Um, you can sign up for free at dubert.com, be a transporter, a foster, even a photographer. So many different ways that you can do. Just sign up at dubert.com. It's free. Carol, thank you so much for coming on. Really appreciate it. Really enjoy what you're doing and hope we can help spread the word. Thank you, Chris. I really appreciate it. Good to talk with you.